Hey guys, in this video I'll go over the helmet mounted queuing system for the Viper. You can power it on with this switch here. After a couple seconds, you should see it come up. If it doesn't come up, it's probably because you don't have it equipped. You can equip it in the ground crew menu. You click ground crew, change helmet mounted device, and press setup JHMCS. Now once it's turned on, you need to align it. If you're doing a cold start or if you're doing a hot start and you didn't have it equipped, then you're going to need to align it. If you're doing a hot start and you already had it equipped, then you don't need to align it. In order to align it, you're going to need the radar cursor switch and the enable switch. So to align it, press list and miscellaneous and then HMCS. This is the main HMCS page, so click sequence to go to the alignment page. Click zero. Here is where you do a course alignment, so just try to line up the crosses and hold down the enable switch. Once it says OK, you can let go of the enable switch and you can press zero and press zero again to go to the azimuth elevation alignment. In this alignment, you can use your cursor to line up the top cross. Once you've got it lined up, you press zero and zero again, and now we're in the roll alignment and you need to roll the bottom cross to align it. Then you can press zero and that is how you finish the alignment. If you press sequence again, it goes back to that other menu. You can use the rocker switch and you can press zero to enable or disable the HUD blank and the cockpit blank. As you can see, they're both disabled, so I always see the HMCS, but if I want, I can enable the HUD blank, so when I look at my HUD, it goes away. And same thing with the cockpit blank. I recommend leaving both of the blanks on. There's also the declutter. You can press any number on the keypad to cycle through the different levels. Level 3 is the most decluttered, level 1 is the least decluttered. There's also the RWR display. This is a really useful feature. If you press 0, you can turn it off, but I'd recommend leaving it on. So what that does is show your current greatest threat on the RWR. As you can see, it shows the threat symbol and it also has a diamond pointing where it is. And as you move your head, this little space moves and if if you have the space lined up with the diamond, then you will be looking at the direction of where your greatest RWR threat is coming from. That was the helmet mounted queuing system, the Viper. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.